Hey folks, and very good day from Cologne Bonn Airport. Today I'll be flying all the way to Vienna on board a Eurowings flight which is operated by TUI Flies Boeing 737-800 aircraft. As always, I'm kind of late for today's flight as it's already leaving in more or less 40 minutes, I believe. So let's don't waste any time anymore and right head inside the terminal building. See you guys in the plane. Cologne Bonn Airport was opened back in 1938 and is named after the old German Chancellor Konrad Adenauer. However, Eurowings flights are leaving from Terminal 1B, so let's head right inside. The Eurowings check-in area is right next to the entrance, however, as I already checked in online, I can directly proceed to the security control. They actually also have a little ticket center in here. This airport also offers a cheap Rewe supermarket, which is highly appreciated by me. And I can only recommend to go to this supermarket if you guys want to get some cheap drinks or snacks for your flight. A WH Smith store is also located in this airport, but as you guys probably already know, they are really expensive, so I don't recommend to go there. Luckily, the security control looks quite empty today. Good for me, as I'm really late, as I already said before. Well, the security control went quite fast and smooth, and the staff was also really, really kind. Uh, right behind it, you can find some more yeah, shops, duty-free shops and restaurants whatsoever. However, we are now heading to gate C50. The terminal actually also features a cute little playground for children. That's nice. Cologne Bonn Airport also has a large cargo operation, so you can see some big cargo planes down there on the back. My flight Echo Whiskey 756 is leaving at 6.15 p.m. from gate C50 which is right next to me, and luckily the boarding process hasn't started yet. By the way, today's trip report is sponsored by me. I paid the plane ticket completely on my own. Okay, it was only 29 bucks, but anyway. So therefore, I kindly ask you guys to leave a like and also a subscription to my channel in order to support me. And here you guys can see today's Boeing 737-800 aircraft with the registration Delta-Alpha Bravo Kilo Juliet. And as you can see, it is even wearing a Eurowings livery, even though the plane and the crew is from TuiFly. I'm actually wondering if the cabin crew will also wear a Eurowings uniform, but I think they will have a TuiFly uniform, won't they? Dear passengers, your Eurowings 5W756VNR operated by TuiFly is now ready for boarding. We are now inviting this class passengers upon certain member of senators to board the aircraft. Honestly, today's gate agent was really rude because he was even shouting to the passengers, which is a no-go for me. Servus! I finally settled in at seat 24 Alpha and as you guys can see the wing view is pretty cool. However, coming to the seat, the leg room is um, well pretty narrow, pretty tight. Um, the seat itself offers a seat pocket as well as a foldable table and some uh, magazines in front which you can see here. But we will check out all of them in flight. So yeah. Can't wait to get to Vienna. The cabin crew just saved my ass by handing out these FFP2 masks as I honestly completely forgot that it's mandatory to wear these specific masks in Austria. So, thanks to the crew. Alle Gänge und Türbereiche werden von Gepäckfrei zu halten. Bitte beachten Sie auch das Rauchverbot während des gesamten Aufenthaltes an Bord. Es beinhaltet auch die Benutzung elektronischer Zigaretten. Vielen Dank für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit.
Well, the cabin was secured by the flight attendants. My seatbelt is now securely fastened. And we are lining up the runway. So let's go to Vienna. As the in-flight service is about to start, I would like to take a quick look inside the Wings Bistro magazine, which is right here. So let's fold out the table. Oh, look at that. It's kind of dirty. It seems like it wasn't cleaned in the last turnaround. However, here is the Wings Bistro magazine. And as you can see, Eurowings offers a nice variety of different sandwiches but also snacks, hot drinks, cold drinks, and whatsoever. And the prices of the meal deals are also quite a pain. I spontaneously decided to give this Asia coconut rice a try. Let's take a quick look inside. Oops. There we go. Well, that doesn't look too appetizing. However, let's give it a try. Liebe Gäste, wir sind im Anflug auf den Flughafen. Wen möchten Sie bitten, die Sicherheitsgurte noch einmal zu überprüfen, gegebenenfalls zu schließen, die Waschräume nicht mehr aufzusuchen und alle großen elektronischen Geräte wie Laptops auszuschalten. Bitte klappen Sie jetzt die Tische nach oben, bringen Sie die Rückenlehne in eine aufrechte Position und öffnen Sie alle Sonnenblenden. Im Falle einer Evakuierung bleibt Ihr komplettes Handgepäck an Bord. Bitte werfen Sie zur Landung noch einmal einen Blick auf die Sicherheitskarte in Ihrer Sitztasche. Vielen Dank. As we have just started with our descent into Vienna Airport, I would now like to, guide, like to show you guys the content of the seat pocket in front. So firstly, we have a Eurowings branded sick bag, as well as the in-flight magazine called Wings Magazine. Some interesting articles about Eurowings destinations. Furthermore, there is a Wings Shop magazine offering some yeah, perfumes, cosmetics, watches and whatsoever. Some advertisements for an advertisement for cheap COVID tests. And finally, the safety card of today's Boeing 737-800 aircraft. And as you can see here, the flight is operated by Tui Fly, as I said before. So far so good. Unfortunately there was no waste service before landing so yeah I have to keep this cup now. By the way the seat itself is quite comfortable but nothing too special. Um, it features some wet seat belts as you can see here but I do like the Eurowings branding on the headrest cover. And down there you guys can already see the beautiful city center of Vienna. Now we are overflying the district St. Marks, where I actually used to live.
Damen und Herren, bitte bleiben Sie noch angeschnallt sitzen, bis das Flugzeug die endgültige Parkposition erreicht hat und die Anschnallzeichen ausgeschaltet worden sind. Darüber hinaus darf ich Sie bitten, auf Ihren Sitzplätzen sitzen zu bleiben, bis die Flugzeugtüren geöffnet sind. Das Aussteigen wird dann Corona-gerecht Reihe für Reihe vonstatten gehen. Vielen Dank für Ihre Mithilfe und bitte denken Sie auch daran, weiterhin Ihre FFP2-Maske zu tragen. Beachten Sie, dass Ihre elektronischen Geräte sich weiterhin im Flugmodus befinden und öffnen Sie später die Gepäckfächer bitte vorsichtig, da Gepäck verrutscht sein könnte. Das Rauchen ist erst wieder im Flughafengebäude in den gekennzeichneten Bereichen erlaubt. Kapitän Seifert und seine gesamte Besatzung verabschieden sich im Namen von Eurowings, Eurowings Holidays und TUIFLY ganz herzlich von Ihnen. Wir hoffen, dass Sie einen angenehmen Flug mit uns haben und wünschen Ihnen jetzt einen schönen Aufenthalt hier oder auch eine gute und sichere Weiterreise und noch einen schönen Abend. Finally, we made it to our gate position right next to a Swiss A320 Neo aircraft. So, let's get the seatbelt unfastened and get off. Well, time to say goodbye to today's TUI Fly Boeing 737-800 aircraft. And let's go for the final question. How was today's flight? Well, it was a pretty decent flight, being honest. Um, the crew was completely fine. No complaints about them, as nearly always. Um, however, it honestly felt like a normal Eurowings flight, so TrueFly really adopted the in-flight service procedures of Eurowings. So yeah, there was nothing too special. I, I was hoping for like some to get some some TrueFly flair in flight, but no, it really felt like a normal uh, Eurowings flight, except for the fact that the cabin crew had TrueFly uniforms. However, thank you guys for coming along for today's video. Uh, finally, I can of course definitely recommend taking. To fly or Eurowings on this route to Vienna from Cologne. So thank you guys for coming along for this trip report. Stay safe, have a great day, cheers.